Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So previously in the Windows 11 Insider program, Microsoft was testing what they were calling an evolved widgets board. Now, just to let you know that um, after the latest web experience pack downloaded and installed from the Microsoft Store this morning in my region, that that so-called evolved widgets board has now started rolling out after that web experience pack update to the stable version of Windows 11 version 22H2, where here we can see that we have a so-called larger canvas where we get three columns now that are available if your device does support three columns, where previously we only had two columns available in the widget board. And so we've got three zones now. And the first zone here to the left includes all your different uh, widgets from your different apps and services. And then um, to the right, the second and third zones include your personalized, feed, your personalized feed. So that's your news and interests and so on. Now, as mentioned, you need to make sure that the uh, latest web experience pack uh, is downloaded. And if we just click on that quickly in the store, the latest version of the web experience pack, if we just look here um, at the bottom, is version 423.0. 13900.0.0. So that's the latest installed version of the Web Experience Pack, which now um, brings the um, new three column widget board to Windows 11 version 22H2. And that's if your device does support it. And I know that this has been on a controlled rollout for some users. So if you may have seen this already in your region, you may have not. Just bringing it to your attention that this is becoming more widely available. And as mentioned, this is another feature now that's making its way from the preview uh, versions of Windows 11 now into the stable version. Now, just to go through some of the um, new changes, if you would be interested, um, regarding your widgets, if we click on the Add Widgets button, we get a new look and feel um, menu for pinning your widgets. And I actually think this looks a lot more practical and just gives you a bit of a more overview of your widgets um, compared to the previous menu to add widgets to the actual widget board. And yeah, you can scroll through uh, different widgets if there are more than one available for your different apps and services. Um, you can pin that to uh, those to your widget board. Uh, yeah, as an example, if you click on phone link, you can pin that um, just to give you a general idea. So pinning widgets um, kind of has a new evolved menu. And you can also find more widgets by clicking on this link, which will take you over uh, to the um, Microsoft Store. And yet to the right for the uh, second and third uh, columns or the second and third zones, we get our news and interests, our personalized feed. And if you click on watch, that will take you over to Microsoft Edge where you can watch obviously your different videos pertaining to your feed. And if you click on play, that will take you over to uh, the um, online version of Microsoft Games and the other options are still um, available. You can refresh your feed, you can expand to full view, so the full screen and full view uh, widget board is still available and if we click on our actual settings, um, the other options are still available where you can open widget board on hover, show notification badges and show announcements. So just letting you know and um, with that latest edition as mentioned with the web experience pack um, rolling out through the Microsoft Store, the widget board, the new evolved or three column widgets board is now making its way into the stable version on a controlled rollout um, of Windows 11 version 22H2. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.